Kayla from Pop Entertainment, and so nice to meet you both. Um, so you two are starring in The Get Together alongside Alejandro Rose Garcia, Courtney Parchman, as well as such a talented cast. Um, tell us a little bit about the movie. So this movie is about four people who all intersect on one night at a big get together party in Austin, Texas. And they're all kind of going through similar emotional experiences, but under totally different circumstances. And they're in their twenties and there's drinking and it's funny and it's fun. So to put it simply, the film is very chaotic with lots of crazy things happening all at once. How fun was it to film this uh, movie and to work all together? Oh, it was so fun. It was just like the best group of people. Everyone was so passionate about the film. You know, we were working all night shoots. So you're a bit loopy and kooky anyway, because your whole biological clock's off. It was just, it was the best time. It was so much fun. Um, so Johanna, you play Betsy, who moved to New York along with her boyfriend, Damien, in hopes of working in the advertising field, you know, leaving her hometown behind and all her friends. So tell us a bit about Betsy and can you relate to her in any sense or not at all? Yeah, I think there have definitely been moments in my life that I, um, I had similar questions that Betsy has. You know, she's from this town, she's moved to New York, met this amazing guy, Damien, and she's bringing him back for what seems like the first time. And I think just reintroducing herself to her old friends, it starts making her second guess, like, who, who am I really? Was I more myself when I was here with these friends or am I more myself in New York? And can, can the two marry together? Um, so the whole night is really a journey of self-reflection and trying to figure out who she is and where she wants her life to go. And Jacob, you played Damien, a recent college graduate who recently moved to New York with his girlfriend, Betsy, um, who he is planning on proposing to. So tell us a bit about Damien and can you relate to him in any sense? Yeah, I think I can relate to him. Um, at the end of the day, he's just a guy that wants everything to go well and do the right thing and make everybody happy. And I think that transcends even just his proposal circumstance, you know, like I have those qualities in myself too. So I totally, completely relate to that. So as you can both relate to your characters, how did you each prepare for your role since each character has so much personality and seems like such a backstory before leading up to the film even? Yeah, I think, you know, you build that backstory on your own. And um, we got to Austin a few days early. So we all got to rehearse with Will a lot, our director, and really like go in depth and question him about our characters' backstories and what his vision was and what our vision was and how to, how to get what he was going for. So have either of you had any similar experiences in your post-college life or any similar experiences at parties? Hopefully not falling into a pool. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, so um, had any, yeah, similar post-college experiences or experiences? Yeah, I think we've probably both been to those big house parties where there's tons of people there like having a good time and the music's probably too loud. And <laughs> yeah, I think Will probably modeled this off of a lot of experiences he had growing up or living in Austin, you know? And I feel like you feel Austin in this movie as well. Um, but yeah, I've definitely been to <laughs> one or two house parties in my day. <laughs> so the film is broken down into different parts, as you said, one part for August, Damien, Caleb, and Betsy. So if you could play another role in this film, who would it be and why? And could you relate to any of the characters more than your own? Ooh, who would you play? That's a good question. I'd maybe play Lucas, who is sort of, he's played by Chad Werner. He's so fantastic, he's so funny. Uh, I have a lot of scenes with him in the movie and he's hilarious. And I, I'd probably play Lucas. I think that would be really fun. I think, if I could, I'd probably play Alejandra's role. I'd probably play Caleb, just because he has, you know, he's the polar opposite of Betsy. He's stayed, he's continued on the same path. So just to play with that completely different um, perspective would be fun. So with all the funny antics in the film, who was the first person on set to crack up when they weren't supposed to? 
I mean, maybe. I feel like we probably laughed. Like, I was going to say, I was like, probably that. me. That sounds about right. Yeah. yeah. The, the first scene we shot together was with Chad. It was in the restaurant with Lucas. And like, he's just so, he's just so funny. He's hard to yeah. not laugh at all the time. He's so funny. With all the chaos in the film, I assume it was difficult not to crack up with each scene because I was cracking up the entire time. Um, so the get together was a fun post college coming of age film. Uh, what coming of age film was your favorite when you were younger? Uh, when I was younger, I can't think of one when I was younger, but I saw Lady Bird for the first time like a few months ago, and that was really great and well done. And I love the story, and I love Sir Ronan, so I'll say that was pretty fantastic. I think for me, maybe this spectacular now with um, mm -hmm. Alien Woodley, Woodley and Miles Teller. Miles Teller, yeah. that was a really good coming of age one for me. I think that hit home when I watched yeah, it. Yeah, I also just recently saw Lady Bird and absolutely loved it. Sersha is so talented. Um, yeah. So this project was filmed um, amid the COVID-19 pandemic. What are some major differences between filming pre-pandemic and, you know, mid to almost post pandemic? Well, we actually filmed it pre pandemic. So we oh, weren't, okay. yeah, it was before everything like was really bad. And we were saying earlier, it's so weird to see the movie and look back on the experience because it was before this like hurricane of the last year with COVID, you know? Yeah, as I was watching the film, I was wondering how it was made possible if you were to do it mid pandemic, but that's awesome. You got to finish filming and everything beforehand. That's great. Yeah. Um, so speaking of the pandemic, have you picked up any new hobbies or skills during this time? Um, I started doing yoga. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Does that count as a new skill? <laughs> of course. Get in touch with your spirituality and your, your mind and your body. That's perfect. Yeah, some shavasana. <laughs> I um, started fostering little dogs. Oh, oh my god that's amazing <laughs> um so what are you both looking forward to doing most post pandemic What's well i got vaccinated so i'm excited to not have to worry about it you know what i mean okay. um i'm excited for like bars to open back up and everything just kind of be back to normal to be honest yeah, I'm, I think I'm excited to go to the movies. I haven't been in the movies yet. I'm vaccinated as well, but just haven't like, haven't taken the plunge yet. I'm looking forward to it. 100%. Um, so before we go, what is one thing you hope people take away from the get together and might talk about on the way home or after viewing the movie? Um, I think I'm hoping that it just starts conversations that you know, people really relate to one, if not all of these characters and just sort of reflect on their own lives and where they're at. Yeah, I think I agree with Joe. Um, just kind of seeing maybe where they're at in their life in each of these characters and being like, oh, I remember that moment and I remember what that felt like. And maybe it felt really like awkward in the moment. And then you see it up there and you're like, oh, it wasn't probably as bad as I thought. All right, well, thank you both so much for your time today. That is all I have, but it was so great to meet you. And the film is amazing, by the way, hilarious. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Of course, well, thank you both so much for your time. I have a good one. All right, bye. -bye. bye. Okay, hi guys, I'm Kayla with Pop Entertainment. It's so great to meet both of you. Hi good Kayla, you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Um, so you two are starring in The Get Together alongside Johanna Brady, Jacob Artist, as well as such a talented cast. Could you tell us a bit about the film? Courtney? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, yeah, The Get Together is a little coming of age comedy. Um, and it just follows like for different people at different points of their life kind of dealing with um, probably one of like the bigger growing pains of their their life experience so far and it kind of like yeah. yeah, and they all it's... intertwine and it follows different people yeah it's a it's like a party pulp fiction kind of it's like <laughs> a you know you see how how different uh 
different people's paths cross each other and and uh you know all of our little silly decisions have some sort of uh long lasting effects so to put it simply the film is very chaotic lots of crazy things are happening all at once um yeah. how fun was it to work all together and to make this film it was, it was just a, as fun as it looks. It Sorry. was a party. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. We we uh, yeah, it was all night shoots. It happened super fast. We all stayed up late and just kind of uh, it was like a lock in slumber party, <laughs> with no sleeping. Yeah. Oh, that's the best. You're all loopy and you have to make this crazy film together. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um. So Courtney, you play August, a quirky recent college graduate who seems to be struggling to find her footing and her place in the real world. So could you tell us a bit about August? <laughs> yeah. <true>. Um, <laughs> um, August is a little cutie girl. Um, she's really trying to like find herself. <laughs> I'm like, no, she's like, so cute. Like literally she's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird because I like think of her as somewhat different but I'm like oh it is me um I love that you were so hard on her when you read the script too that you're just like yeah I, literally I hate this. the first time I read the script yeah first time I read the script I would like called Chad who's a producer and I was like okay August is so annoying like she literally needs to grow up and Chad was like what like why don't you like and then I sat down with someone and um like a coach and kind of like went through it and as like I read it again I was like oh no I hate her because she is me and like um just had to, I related so much to like her insecurities and but she's more vocal about it so it just like pinpointed like these deep fears that I had that I like had never really like I hadn't worked through yet so then seeing it play out in someone else I was like I am not her but then I quickly realized I was and then it was very therapeutic and she's just kind of a 22 year old figuring out herself and um like dealing with the anxiety of like, everyone hates me. So Alejandro, you play Caleb, who is a struggling musician who seems to be somewhat lost in life, especially after ending things with Johanna Brady's character, Betsy. So can you tell mm -hmm. us a bit about Caleb? Yeah, he's just kind of trapped in the, in the town he, that he's been in. He feels like, um, you know, life has kind of moved past him a little bit. And uh, that terrifying reality when you realize that you're, your the ex that yanks your heartstrings the most has uh has escaped the town that you were still trapped in thus leaving you just so far behind but uh but yeah that's exactly where he is and i think uh you know me and august or, or caleb and august uh <laughs> share a lot of fear about um uh, yeah being left behind and uh not being able to keep up so do you feel that you can relate to him in any sense? Because Courtney had mentioned that she can relate to August. Sure. Yeah, I think in all sorts of, you know, it, it, you, always looking back through your life, you maybe see the little like split in the road where it's like, man, if I had gone this way, things would be really different. And, you know, it's like, even if you're happy with where you are, I'm sure that there are things that if you think back on, you're like, I, I just wonder, you know, and uh so, I mean, in that sense, yeah, there, there are choices that I, uh, I can definitely look back on and be like, man, I got right, just stayed right where I was, huh? Yeah. So how did you each prepare for your role since each character has so much personality and it seems like everyone has such a backstory, you know, leading up to the film? Well, we just jumped right in. We just put our costumes on <laughs> and stayed up all night the first night and then, uh, yeah, just went crazy and let the cameras... Do the, do the trick. So the film is broken <laughs> down into different parts. Um, one for August, one for Damien, one for Caleb, and one for Betsy. So if you could play another role in the movie, who would it be and why? And also, did you feel that you could relate to another character besides your own? I'd play August. Uh, really? <laughs> No, August was so fun to play. Um, and I think at the time of filming it, I really, really like heard this girl out. But um, I think like since 2019, I would say I would probably relate more to Betsy now. Which is weird because when I, again, I thought Betsy's character, I was like, nah, she's kind of petty, all that stuff. But now I'm seeing more of her side of it. And I'm like, oh, I see where she's coming from. Right. And so now I have a lot more love. <laughs> just a judgmental bitch um <laughs> no but I just think I've like grown up so now I'm dealing with a different character's problems and 
brain stuff. And I feel like it's kind of interesting as the movie goes on, you kind of get a first glance and a first impression into each character and you're like, oh, she's judgmental, she's quirky, she's annoying, but then you kind of get to know behind the character, which I think is so interesting to see as the movie goes on and as each yeah. character you know, gets their own uh, part in the movie. Um, so with all the funny antics in the film, who was the first person to crack up when they weren't supposed to? It's for her. It's gotta be. A hundred percent. Whether it was like, cause I was laughing or just cause if it was a nervous laugh, I would Or just totally laugh. loopy, yeah. It's yeah. I feel like it fits with August well though. So I feel like that kind of yeah. <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> um, so the get together is a fun post-college coming of age film. What was your favorite coming of age film when you were younger or even now? Mm. Um, man, I'd say, you know, sort of, I guess in, what would it be? Uh, you know, in a different vein, I always uh, loved Stand By Me, which is like a little bit more of a classic and not a party movie, but it's still like, you know, a little gang of friends that set out to go find a dead body like we all do you know yeah, no, uh, that's a totally classic post-college experience of course you guys yeah you guys remember yeah. back in the 1950s when yeah, we went looking for that dead body everybody does yeah it's a universal classic. experience I guess right and then <laughs> uh yeah and I mean I kind of grew up with like the American Pie movies which is very I, I, I they came on tv the other day and I watched those go all the way up to like there's the fourth one's like American Reunion where they all go back and now they're too old for everything and like oh, all the college so kids. Fun. Yeah, and and I, I saw that with my friends and we were like, are we old? Like, <laughs> it's like, it was like, oh no, I remember all this. Like, oh no. So, oh, that's so fun. It had the effect, it had the right effect. So, you know, hopefully this movie will have that same effect to somebody. Yeah, um, I would say mine right now is Booksmart. Uh, but all time, I was trying to, <laughs> my favorite movie is Truman Show. And I was like, does that, cons is that, I think it's coming out, but I think that's not, I think. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. a, such a great movie. Yeah, I think it deals with a lot of like, what's it's life's even, purpose. Yeah, yeah kind of a coming gonna, of age. If we're going to include searching for dead bodies, I'm sure that is also fine. I'm sure we could so, do that as well. <laughs> yeah. So I spoke with um, Johanna and Jacob yesterday, and they said that you had wrapped up filming the movie right before the pandemic, luckily. So what have you been doing to keep yourselves occupied during this time? Have you picked up any new hobbies or skills in the last year? Um, well, I play music, so I've still been able to do that, except not live. Um, I record myself a lot, but I've sort of branched out and uh, I started to teach myself uh, video editing, which is something that I've always loved, but just haven't had the time to do. And um, so, yeah, I've been working more in, in visual mediums, which has been really fun. Yeah, I think we both got so lucky, like both of our careers, we were able to continue at home. Um, yeah, just making more videos, trying to be funnier, learning how to write, which I think, learning my comedic voice, you know, right. <laughs> that kind of fun stuff. Um, so do you feel that either of you learned anything about yourself in making this movie? Yes, I yeah. like, I can't tell you how therapeutic um, playing some of these scenes and like sitting in the car with Caleb and him kind of talking to her like, I really felt like Ollie, like a, as a big brother, was just kind of like talking to me. And then the fight scene with McCall, it was like just so like things I wanted to get off my chest, but like I didn't have an, like I didn't have someone to say all these things to. So it truly was very therapeutic. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. Um, yeah, I mean, I still I still live in the in the same town that I grew up in, and I escaped and made it back and you know, I've had all the feelings and um, have definitely done stuff with like exes where I, you know, blame them for all sorts of dumb things that I've done in life. And so going through all of that and kind of looking back at it was cathartic too. And I think that that's one of the most enjoyable things about um, acting in general is that, you know, you get opportunities to play weird versions that I think kind of no matter what you do, you, you know, you end up drawing from your own experience and even if you played a squid alien or something like that maybe you're like you know deep down I do feel kind of slimy and <laughs> I yeah. can identify with Solapticlus or whatever it's in 
Yeah. You're ready for your octopus. <laughs> Squid so aliens right. are definitely so um, relatable for a lot of people, I feel. Yeah. <laughs> um, so finally, what is one thing you hope people take away from the get together? Maybe something they talk about on the way home or after viewing? Um, I hope that they're pleasantly surprised about it being, uh, you know, having having a heart and kind of a message more than just a, than just a flat out party comedy. Yeah. A lot of comfort. Um, I think it, it taps into like every age, every, um, not every, but a lot of the like little insecurities that you deal with throughout your 20s. So I hope that people can just watch it and be like, oh yeah, I, I feel that too. Yeah, I um, got the chance to view the film and I, it was definitely so therapeutic to watch because you get to watch each character kind of work through their own ish going on so that was it was actually very therapeutic to watch so i feel like others um will also agree so I hope. that's all that i have for today but thank you both so so much for your time thank you really kayla nice. yeah thank you it was so great to meet you both yeah thank really you. nice to meet you too have a good rest of your day thank you, thank you. Bye.